So uh, Larry Nasser um, is a uh, former uh, MSU coach, gymnast. Uh, and, well, actually, he's a doctor. Uh, he was a, a gymnastics doctor uh, who has been convicted on seven first-degree felony sexual assault charges. Now, that stems, of course, from uh, claims that uh, that he had molested during his time at those two jobs, molesting at least a hundred different women, right? So, and these women were uh, teenage girls at the time. So, this, of course, is absolutely heinous, and he did get uh, convicted on first degree felony sexual assault. So, again, that's uh, great. And uh, he is now, he, he is. Uh, has a plea deal with the court. Now, part of this plea deal, right, is to have to listen to victim uh, impact statements on what his actions had done to so many of these, uh, you know, girls that, that are now have grown up uh, and are, are now uh, women. Now, some of those impact statements, or I should say all of them, are actually incredibly difficult to hear if you've been paying attention to this um, listening to their stories and, and, you know, how they were violated. It's just, it's incredibly difficult to listen to, especially since they were, you know, that they were teenagers at the time and that he was abusing his power. He was abusing his position to be able to get, you know, get his rocks off essentially. So this person, uh, you know, Larry Nassar, he's a straight up monster. Okay. Now in his, this system, he deserves due process. Now, as I said, part of that plea deal that he received was to listen to his victims. But it turns out that he can't even do that. He recently wrote a six page single spaced letter complaining about his treatment by the court, about the deal that he agreed to. Oh, you know what? My mental health. I, I can't, I just can't sit here and listen to all these women. Tell me how much of a monster I am. He's having a bit of a hard problem, a bit of a hard time with that. You know what I say? Poor baby. But here, let me get out the world's tiniest violin and play it for you. That's what I think about that. Now, the judge in this case, uh, I absolutely love her. Her name is Rosemary Aquilina. Now, she was not impressed by this letter, and she actually uh, had a response to it. Let's hours every day. Collectively. We spent thousands of hours. Perpetrating criminal sexual conduct on minors. Spending four or five days listening to them is significantly minor considering the hours of pleasure you've had that have spent in ruining their lives. None of this should come as a surprise to you. Judge Aquilina is seeking media attention over court protocol. <coughs> <laughs> this is the people of the state of Michigan versus Larry Nassar, not Judge Aquilina. I'm doing my job. I try to do it well, unlike what you did. Because of my heart, I passed out twice the morning of federal sentencing. I'm sorry about that, sir. I wish you well. I don't know anything about that. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to what happened in there because this is separate. Now, this is entertaining to me, I have to say. <coughs> Appleina said if I pass out, she'll have the EMTs provide me and then prop me up in the witness box. <laughs> I suspect you've watched too much television. I have had persons, jurors have heart attacks, defendants, going to seizures, all sorts of medical things. You can have your attorneys ask 911 for all the times I have called EMTs, stopped the trial and waited until a juror or a defendant or whoever was associated with the case was well. I would never <coughs> do that to a human being regardless of what they did. 
So I don't know if it's your frustration at night or what's going on here. But I have to say, this isn't worth the paper it's written on. So look, here's the thing, right? So this guy had the audacity to complain about hearing victim impact statements from the girls that he had molested as the uh, as a coach or uh, I'm sorry as a doctor uh, for this gymnast team. Now, this is the same gymnast team, and by the way, Michaela Maroney, if you can guys remember her, she was also a victim. And so you've got all these different victims that are speaking out now and that are actually getting to face the person that had violated them in court for his sexual assaults. And he's like, I don't want to hear it. I, j I don't want to hear it. I'm not interested in hearing it. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before you sexually assaulted all those girls. Look, Larry Nassar is a sick dude. I, I think it's obvious that he's got no empathy for anyone but himself. He doesn't care at all what he did to these girls. And he's just trying to get out of listening to them. But you know what? It's going to hear them. And, and, and I actually, and I'm a bad lib for saying this, but I, I hope it tortures him mentally. Because all those girls are carrying around the torture mentally that he gave to them. From all the things that he did to them over the years. All the ways that he took advantage to them, uh, of them over the years. They have to live with that. And so maybe he should have to live with the knowledge that he had actually done all this stuff. And so, yeah, I think it's more than fair to have him listen to all these impact statements. And I hope it eats away at him every day. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.